of Prince's representative who illegally funneled $1 million to Trump inauguration also illegally funneled $3.5 million to Clinton campaign and boasted about his access to both candidates, according to new indictment. Here's a summary of the article. Nader, a lobbyist, convicted sex offender and key cooperating witness in the Robert Mueller investigation, was brought to the Clinton fundraiser as the guest of Ahmed Kawaja, the founder and CEO of Allied Wallet, a Los Angeles payments processing company. Even while they illegally funneled cash to Hillary Clinton's campaign, Nader talked about the need to also cultivate then-candidate Donald Trump, reporting to the unnamed foreign official that he and his co-conspirators were developing a constructive relationship with both camps, according to the indictment. At one point in mid-July, Nader sent a government official of foreign country a a photo of himself with Bill Clinton taken in Kawaja's house. The 53-count indictment, which charges Nader, Kawaja and six others with conspiring to violate federal election laws, does not identify the foreign officials Nader was reporting to or their nationality, noting only that Nader is a self-described advisor to certain foreign governments in the Middle East, including Foreign Country A, executive in Sherman Oaks on Sunday, June 26, and Hillary Clinton attended a fundraiser at the home of Napster and Facebook entrepreneur Sean Parker the following Tuesday, June 28. 8th, Nader also boasted to Kawaja about how their work was being received by high-ranking officials of foreign country A. I am leaving early morning back to join HH, have already told him about the wonderful event with our sister and he was thrilled, Nader allegedly wrote to Kawaja after the Las Vegas fundraiser in October. On August 4, Nader allegedly wrote to Kawaja again, stating he had met with his foreign principal HH, and suggesting Nader would have access to the bakery once he returned to a foreign city, and as soon as we get back to prepare something with bakery for the upcoming event. With pleasure and stressed important and unique role you are playing. The name of the foreign city is redacted in the indictment the same way it appears here. Kawaja at one point allegedly recorded a portion of his phone call with a Clinton campaign official and sent it to Nader, who then forwarded the audio file to a foreign government official. This post received a score of 43,803, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Can we collectively ask our politicians to kindly adhere to established rules, boundaries and put the best interests of their constituents a little higher up the list of priorities? Okay. They'll put it right behind their personal profits. Wow. That's pretty far up there. Progress. We're number two. Optimistically speaking, great username. Ever post on our Hong Kong? You would be a hero for just showing up. Sorry if it seems patronizing, but that's kind of the point, fuck the CCP. I'll mock them any day of the week, the same way people can mock Stalin, Hitler, and most other government officials. Edit, tbh I wish I could rename this to Winniekpoos underscore porn underscore alt and just frequent a bunch of hentai subs, but sadly, I'm an idiot who didn't think of it before naming the account. Oh, bother, she, the CCP, and every other chuckle fuck contributing to the hundred acre killing fields that is HK. Fuck em, in the ass, with a habanero dildo. The hundred acre killing fields, I shouldn't be laughing at that. But I am. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. George Carlin. Yes, you can vote for president, but you don't get much choice in this country about important things. They have all the guns. They have all the tools. They have all the power. We call it freedom of choice. There is an illusion of choice. Americans are led to feel free through the exercise of meaningless choices. There are only two political parties. There is a reduction of the number of media companies. Banking has been reduced to only a handful of banks. Oil companies. These are important, and you're given very little choice. Oh, but the flavor of jelly beans. The flavor of muffins. Video games can be a good example of this in practice though. You are given so many dialogue and event choices that you can feel like you are having a huge impact on the story your first playthrough. Then of course you realize on your second or third playthrough that a lot of those choices lead to exactly the same thing and all of a sudden you realize you were actually pretty powerless in the game story and just drug through by the game designer. In the real world though it's the select elites that control the story and just through meaningless dialogue wheels in front of us to give us the illusion of control. The Stanley Parable 
Love how the Justice Department is acting like this is a new story. The Mueller report noted that Nader developed contacts with both U.S. presidential campaigns during the 2016 election, and kept Dmitriev abreast of his efforts to do so over six months ago. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.